Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video and our next installment on Project Drift Sock. In last week's video you saw we added new wiring and a brand new set of trailer lights to the boat trailer. And this week's video expands on that. We're going to be adding a set of lighted guide-ons to the trailer, which are going to help us out when we're using the trailer at night. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, like I said, this week's video is going to cover the construction of a set of lighted guide-ons for this boat trailer. Now my main reason behind this is simply being able to see the trailer when I'm pulling it. When I first bought this, it had some very, very low guide-ons. The boat sits low on it. And when I had it hooked up behind the truck, I couldn't see it. Which made backing up the trailer quite a bit of a chore. So I had some extra time this week. I've got some square tubing, welded up some much taller guide-ons. You guys will see those here in just a minute. But we're going to find something to cover them, and we're going to go ahead and light them up because that makes it that much easier to back your boat trailer in the dark. So let's go ahead and go over to the workbench where we'll get started. We'll get the light part constructed, and then we'll worry about the guide-on. I'll show you how easy it goes together. So let's head over there. Here's a list of the materials for today's project. Each one of these is for a single lighted cap. Double the materials to make two caps. Step 1. Remove the lens and bulb from the marker light and set them aside. Thread the positive wire through the center hole of the light. Step 2. Use a punch to mark the locations of the mounting hole and center hole locations in the PVC cap. Step 3. Use a drill and 11 64 bit to drill all three holes in the PVC cap. Step 4. Cut two 4 inch sections of wire, strip a quarter inch of insulation, and use a crimper tool to install a number 8 ring terminal and quick disconnect to both sets of wire. Step 5. Install a number 8 machine screw through the tabbed hole and PVC cap. Attach a ring terminal, then a number 8 washer, and then a lock nut. Tighten, but do not tighten securely at this time. Step 6. Thread the positive wire through the center hole and into the cap. Install the remaining number 8 machine screw, washer, and lock nut. Still do not tighten securely at this time. Step 7. Use a screwdriver and ratchet to tighten the mounting screws. Alternate between sides to avoid over-tightening. Step 8. Install the bulb and lens to the lamp assembly. Install a quick disconnect terminal on the positive wire. Repeat steps 1 through 8 to construct a lighted cap for the other side of the trailer. Step 9. Use a center punch to mark the grounding screw location. Drill a hole for the mounting screw using an 11 64 drill bit. Step 10. Install a number 8 machine screw through the hole. Attach the ground jumper, a washer, and a lock nut. Tighten securely. Step 11. Run a positive wire to the top of the guide-on post and use a crimping tool to attach a quick disconnect terminal to the wire. Step 12. Run the other end of the positive wire to the existing trailer wiring. Strip around 3 quarters inch of insulation from the brown wire. Be careful not to cut all the way through the wire. Step 13. Tightly wrap the positive wire around the brown wire. Use a soldering iron to solder the wires together. Use the iron to heat the wire until the wire will melt the solder for a better connection. Step 14. Use liquid electrical tape to thoroughly coat the connection. Apply multiple coats, allowing 5 minutes drying time between coats. Step 15. Measure the guide on post length and add 1 inch to the measurement. Cut two sections of two inch PVC to that length. Step 16. Slide the PVC pipe over the guide on post. 
connect the lighted cap to the wiring using the quick disconnects. Slip fit the cap over the top of PVC guide on. No glue is required. Test for proper operation and enjoy your new lighted guide ons. Alright guys, well that's going to just about wrap up today's project. As you saw, there's not a lot of materials involved in making these lighted guide on posts. And there's really not a whole lot of effort involved in getting the lights wired into your existing trailer wiring. It makes it that much easier to see your trailer at night when you're backing it up. Guys, if this video has helped you out, please take a moment to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell so you get all the notifications. Guys, this is going to wrap up just about everything I had in mind for the trailer side of Project Drift Sock. Over the next couple weeks, we'll be working on the boat itself, getting everything ready, and then we'll start catching some fish out of it. So guys, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Appreciate you sticking around. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, leave me a comment down below. If you have an idea for something you'd like to see on Short Tip Saturday, leave it in the comment section as well, and you may get to see your tip answered in an upcoming video. Guys, that's all I've got for this week. Take care, and we'll catch you out on the water.